Hey guys, um, we're going to go over the 14 foot stealth raft here. Everybody was kind of asking what boat I normally fish out of. And amazingly it's this. All the fancy different boats we have and everything. This is my favorite <clears throat> just to go fishing by myself in. Um, this is one of our first, first or second 14s we built and we've built many after that. This was a demo that we got and um, it's actually um, going to the Bow River in Quebec and I wanted to do a quick video of the boat, how it works and why I love the 14 foot stealth raft or both of our cataracts. This is basically like a drift boat on cataracts instead of a typical NRS frame or um, downriver designs. They all do a really good job. This is just our take on it. Um, the only difference is essentially there's a drift boat on a cataract and still with the plastic construction it's really light and no one has what we have here I mean you guys have no idea how how much fun it is to stand here and fish and I'm standing on a rod right here but of all the cool stuff we do and you'll see that this, this rod storage is integrated it's a nine foot rod the rod storage is integrated and if you're out fishing with your buddies or you know using it commercially whatever this is just a really cool boat that does everything with the pontoon setup it motors extremely well it's got handles so you can pick it up and drag it around it's not as light as one of our hooligan rafts our you know 14.6 hooligan xl is actually you know lighter than this but this is you know class 5 heavy duty you know white water raft but not only that it's a great boat to fish out of because obviously you can't do that what I'm doing right now in a hooligan standing up here front and back rod storage that that holds three that side holds three that's pretty standard our new rafts have our um, these are max and tunes on this boat um, we can get very high-end Jackson custom welding tubes we build our own tubes now, just like our hooligan rafts, it'll be green. We'll show some videos of that. We just happen to have this boat. We're getting it ready to ship to to Canada, and I wanted to kind of go over it. This used to be my personal boat, and, you know, I used it a bunch. <clears throat> this, this comes off, and you can keep that open. And front is back on one of these. So you can motor just fine right here. You can take this out. These lefty Lucy out. And you can take this out and keep this even more open. This seat can be flipped either way. It's got handles on it. You can flip it. A lot of times, if I was just going fishing with a pal, I'd likely take this right out. So we even have more room. If you want lots of storage, it's, it's an option too. So I can just take this out. And I have a lot more room. They stay in Stump Brothers for activity. Same thing, the foot brace can come out. So now, if we're fishing with a pal, we got even more room. Now the 16 has even more room, but you get into the 16, it's a little bigger, it's more of like an outfitter, um, it's a big boat. You know, it, it's more like a really durable drift boat. That's basically why we designed this. We were building these beautiful drift boats, and people go throw them down the side of a cliff. And we just thought this was a better option. We have some people that are using these duck hunting. You can get the rowers box removable also and pull that out. And now you have a fully open cockpit to go duck hunting out of. Super innovative, super cool. This has a man, you know, we could put all our power uh, accessories on them, lights, all that stuff if you want. Uh, cool thing about this is, let's just say it's raining out. I think we've got a bald eagle flying over us. Yeah, the boat's just great to to fish anything up because it's just it's all open. You know, there's flats guides that use these as their backup flats boats because they motor so well. And there's just these big platforms you can stand on and dry fly fish so easily. Dry fly fish, any kind of fish, fishing carp, fishing tarpon you know it, it'll do all we've we've been playing with these for quite a while and we haven't really done a good job of marketing them 
they've just kind of sold themselves. So I'm putting the drain plugs back in. You don't really have to. This boat also has a big rowers box. Like I say, you can keep this loose. I got the air pump in there. It comes with an air pump. It's got some straps to hold down the rafts. But like you said, I mean, it's so cool. The rods are stored right in here. I'm standing on rods here. I could have six rig rods that are completely out of the way that I could stand on. That you could, we trailered here. You got storage there for some life jackets back there. You can take this, obviously, in and out, depending. I got a foot brace in this one. Uh, we got some Sawyer Shoal Cuts in it. We're going to do some more videos. In, in, we're going to show you a, a raft, literally with the tunes off of it. And you can see that it, it's a boat. Like this is a, this is a drift boat. Basically, I'm Cataracts. These are just the straps from the pontoons. We took the, the pontoons off and we're floating just fine motor around just fine and that's what's so cool about this compared to your any of your other rafts any other cataracts you do this obviously you're not doing you're not floating so yeah let's say you were on a two-week trip and your both of your cataracts blew up and you didn't have an extra you're fine you're, you're rowing around and just to show you that this is a, a drift boat and it's tough They take a little bit more to get on plane because of the, the pontoons have a lot of disturbed water. You need at least a 20 horse to get a uh, 14 on plane. Um, but they motor great with like a six or eight, you know, way better than a drift boat. Um, they motor in very skinny water and they're really practical with a motor. They're just a really versatile boat. I mean, they don't look as sexy as a drift boat, they, um, but they back row and they're extremely stable and, you know, extremely durable. I mean, you could beat the snot out of this thing, hit every rock in the river and not care. Oops, here comes a rock. You know, it's a cataract with rubber, so it's no big deal. So you can see this is our uh, snowmobile trailer that we built for the customer. It's got a tilt back there. You also see there's a swing tongue there. And then we have this removable roller system. So when you're trailering, you can let the air out of the tunes and save the wear and tear on the tunes and the hull stays on these rollers. I mean, just the trailer is, is an awesome piece of machinery. And um, it's just such great dual purpose. You can pop these rollers off. You got a snowmobile trailer, ATV trailer, throw your raft in the lawn, put it on here, and you got a great, you know, uh, drift boat, stealth raft trailer. Comes with a jack. Comes with a swing tongue here. It's aluminum, so it weighs nearly nothing. this off, throw it in your truck, and you're fishing another day. So, uh, if you have any more questions, call us.